Now I would like to show you a little animation. We'll take a little journey inside the cell and look at some of the structures and their function. I have already mentioned briefly their structure and function in my previous module. So let's take our journey. We are looking at the cell surface. So we are standing outside the cell and we're looking at the surface. These blue balls that you're looking at, these are the heads of the phospholipid molecules. This is the hydrophobic part of this molecule because the cell exterior or the ex external environment of the cell contains water. The hydrophobic part of these molecules is embedded inside with other hydrophobic domains of the other molecules. Uh, please notice that plasma membrane is fluid. These molecules need to move around to perform their specific function. Uh, as you saw, these molecules are moving and other protein molecules that are embedded in the plasma membrane, they are also moving. Now we are going to move inside the cell and we are going to look at the plasma membrane from inside. So that is the internal surface of the plasma membrane. Internal surface of the plasma membrane has skeletal elements, these white strings, they are the skeletal elements along with the actin filaments, we will talk about actin filaments in more detail uh, in a later uh, module. These actin filaments are polymers, they polymerize and they depolymerize. Each of these actin filament molecules are made up of smaller subunits. The smaller subunits add on to each other and they form larger filaments. These filaments can also become short. They are proteins that can cut actin filaments and make them short. Here we are looking at an actin filament polymerizing or getting long. These smaller part particles you are looking at is the globular actin or G actin. It is these subunits, these smaller units are adding on to each other and making this long filament. So let's look at actin severing. They are proteins that can sever or cut actin filament and when that happens actin filaments start to rapidly depolymerize. Here we are looking at a microtubule polymerization. Microtubules are also skeletal elements. They are made up of smaller units, just like we saw in actin filaments. These smaller units add on to each other and they form these hollow structures, these hollow tube-like structures, which are called microtubules. They provide the structural support to the cell. Additionally, as we have talked about, these skeletal elements allow a platform, a substrate, along which motor proteins can move along. So let's look at that. These microtubules are polymerizing and they can also depolymerize. The smaller subunits can fall apart. Here we are looking at a motor protein walking along uh, a microtubule and it's carrying its, its cargo, which is a vesicle that we talked about. Here we can please notice that there is a central structure from which all microtubules are emanating. This is basically the centrosome the purpose of this organelle or the structure is to basically orient microtubules in a uniform way. We will talk about polarity of microtubules in a later module, but here I just wanted to mention that please notice that the microtubules are originating from the centrosome. Here you can see a mitochondria. This mitochondria, as we have talked about, performs the function uh, of providing cell with the energy. Now we are looking at the surface of the nucleus. There are pores in the nucleus. We will talk about them later too. Out of these pores, messenger RNA is coming out. Messenger RNA is a type of uh, polynucleic acid. And to the, R, uh, to the messenger RNA, ribosomes are attaching. Here are the ribosomes. And they are reading messenger RNA and producing a protein uh, from that messenger RNA, whatever protein it was coding. Some proteins that are made they have a system, labeling system, they know which organelle in the cell to go to. And they are helper proteins that will carry these proteins and deliver them to a particular organelle. Here is a protein that is destined for uh, mitochondria and is being taken to the mitochondria. Other proteins that are secreted or displayed on the plasma membrane, when these proteins are in the process of making, the ribosome stops making these proteins till it docks on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum. Here, a ribosome is sitting on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum uh, on a specific structure right here. It is this ribosome is going to convert 
translate the language of nucleic acid into the language of amino acids and please notice that the protein is being injected right in the in the cavity of endoplasmic reticulum the proteins that are secreted or which are displayed on the plasma membrane they are injected directly into the into the space of the endoplasmic reticulum also we will talk about this out of endoplasmic reticulum vesicles come out proteins that have been injected into the endoplasmic reticulum they will be chemically modified they will be packaged into little vesicles these vesicles that originate from the endoplasmic reticulum they'll be carried carried to the uh, to the golgi apparatus where they'll fuse in golgi this is the golgi apparatus these vesicles will fuse with the golgi apparatus there'll be further modifications to the proteins and these proteins will ultimately be they will be packaged and they'll be sorted out and they'll put they'll be put into the package and these packages from originating from the golgi apparatus will be delivered to their specific target in this case the target is the plasma membrane because certain proteins are being secreted these vesicles when they fuse with the plasma membrane they spill their contents into the extracellular space that's exactly what we are seeing here these these proteins are being released in the extracellular space so now let's go and look at uh, these functions of these organelles in more detail one by one welcome back i hope you enjoyed the animation in the subsequent modules we look at the structure and function of other organelles in more detail